Hi guys, welcome to Super UK. This is Hacknet. Let's bring this microphone down here so you can hear me. Welcome to Sim UK. This is Hacknet. I don't really know anything about this game. It's, I think, something to do with hacking. Um, I don't know. I like this. I like the snippets that I've heard about it, but I don't really know all that much about it. It's got good reviews on Steam, and it was on sale the other day, so I thought I'd jump on and try it. And uh, a good buddy of mine asked me if it was any good and I had to admit that I hadn't even loaded it up so I thought I'd give it a quick go today and uh, upload the video so you can see what's going on but that initial login thing was uh, was difficult let's try that again Okay. Confirmed. So most of the game I think is going to be like this. Loading screens. Could be interesting. I haven't done any any coding for quite a while now. But hopefully it will it will see me good here something. 14 day timer expired. In initializing failsafe. Hi, this is strange, stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, so I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Okay. So I guess my objective here, launching tutorial, okay. I guess my objective here is to figure out who killed Bit. Let's see what we have here. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Whoa. Pressure. Lots of pressure. Connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on a mode on the network map. Connect to your own computer on the green map now by clicking the green circle. So this is the map. Okay. Sim UK's PC. This is freaky. I am the administrator of this system. Good work. The first thing to do on any system is scan it for adjacent mode nodes. This will reveal more computers on your map that you can use. Scan this computer now. That should be all you'll need from your own server for now. Disconnect from your machine. Okay, disconnect. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another computer is illegal under the USC Act 1030-18. Proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine by clicking a blue node on the network map. This VM's ter terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interfacing, interfacing with nodes. A command can be run by typing it out and pressing enter. A computer security system at open ports can be analyzed using the probe or map command, nmap command. These are actual real commands, by the way, nmap. Analyze the computer you are currently connected to. Analyze. Um, scan. No. What do you want me to do? Ah, oh, here, here. Okay. Um, what's the probe? I'm just curious as to what the probe is. Okay. Let's try. Let's try N map down here. Okay, here you can see the active ports, active security and the number of open ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack. This machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to, it is possible to crack this computer using the program port hack. Run the program port hack and there's a hint here. Let's see. To run a program you own on the machine you are connected to, 
cite the name of the program as the terminal command. A program will never... Oh, what? Oh, there we go. A program will never require .exe on the end. Okay. Port tac. Here we go. This is quite cool. This is the port hack running, I guess. Password found. Wow, that's effective. Congratulations, you have taken control of an external system and are now its administrator. You can do whatever you like with it. However, you should start by scanning for local nodes. To locate additional computers, do this using the scan command. Scan. No results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. List the files and folders in the current directory. Hint. List file and folders by using the ls command. The display module has been reactivated for use with this. So we can now use this again. But let's, let's try and keep it... Let's try and keep it code-wise. So this is a, a Linux machine, clearly. Uh, navigate to the bin folder, binaries folder, to search for useful executables using the command cd folder name. So we go cd bin. This is proper official command line interface stuff. Um, so far, I'm liking this a lot, I have to say. I can't believe I've been doing this for eight minutes already. Feels like a minute. Let me see here. Um, to view the contents of the current folder you are in, use the command ls. That means list. These are, these are no programs. There are no programs here, but you should look at the config.txt in case it contains useful information. Read the contents of any file using the cat command, i.e. cat config.txt. Note, reading data without permission is illegal and punishable by prison sentence if detected under international law. Goodness me, what, what was the uh, cat config? Okay, cat config.txt. Totally useless. How to clear your tracks before you leave. Move up a folder in the directory tree using cd. Move to the folder name. Move to the log folder, sorry. CD log. Delete all files in this directory. You can delete a file using the command rm file name. However, you can delete all files in the current directory with the command rm star. rm all. Excellent work. Disconnect from this computer. You can do so using the dc or disconnect command. Why would you type disconnect if you can type DC? That's all I'm saying. Congratulations, you have completed the guided section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. The help command will give you a complete command list at any time. The command PS will list the PID of every current running process. Okay, I didn't follow that completely, but we'll figure it out. Uh, so, help. What have we got here? Help, page number, displays the page number. Scan, RM, PS, list currently running processes as per the hint. UID name, tutorial, root 36, tutorial version 16.2. So, what we can do here is... How do you kill? Is there a kill command? Kill. Okay. So kill, and then the PID, which is 36. Boom. Job done. Now, it looks like we've got an email in the top left-hand corner, but I don't want these videos to go on too long. This is just an introduction, first look review. So rather than jumping straight into the game, I'm going to leave it there. You've got a taster for what this is, and um, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments section and I'll put more videos up. But um, yeah, I basically did this for a, a friend of mine who asked if it was any good and my analysis is 
yes, I think this is going to be very good. For somebody like me who's interested in this kind of thing, this is going to be very interesting. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Goodbye.